Hey, welcome back. Uh, it's been about a week since I posted the first uh, four videos in this tutorial and uh, a lot of people have been super, super supportive on Twitter and on YouTube, which is super awesome. So thank you so much. It's been really great so far. We've uh, done a lot of great stuff. You know how to uh, download all the things you need, how to start uh, a document in R, how to load in CSV data, how to use data that's already in R, uh, how to start manipulating data, um, and kind of pulling out what you need for analyses, and how to make graphs, right? We've started making simple graphs too. Uh, so this week, for this video, we're going to talk about papaya. So uh, I have up where we left off, so remember that we uh, installed papaya in a previous episode, and if you haven't uh, seen the previous ones, I'm going to put a thing up there, so click that, um, to watch the previous ones. But we've installed Papaya, we've installed Tidyverse, which we're using uh, for kind of the, the verbs that we're using to work with our data. And now we're going to uh, talk about Papaya. So here is where we were, and now if we wanted to actually make a PDF uh, with kind of the basic file that we have, we could go up here to knit to PDF, and we could knit this, and what it will do is give us a PDF file. So let's look at that first and talk about it, uh, so we can compare what this is versus uh, what Papaya will give us. So it should be coming up now, you can see all these temporary files are coming up, but here is our PDF, right here. And we can see it says first RMD, uh, and I'm the author, and the date that we started it back when we made it on August 2nd. And uh, we have our code, we have, um, here's all of our code here. This is when we compared uh, the area of petals across our three species. And here's the graph. Okay, so that looks fine, right? But we can actually make it look a lot nicer and we can make it APA formatted by using the Papaya uh, package. So, uh, when you install Papaya for the first time, nothing would have really changed. You have to close R, open it back up, and then when you go to File, New R Markdown File, you'll see here there is a From Template option. So you'll want to click that, and from Template, you'll see that there are um, some options. And you should see here, APA Article, 6th Edition, uh, and this is the package it comes from, Papaya. So you click that. And now you have a new template to work from. And you'll notice, if you click on Knit, you no longer have the option to knit to an HTML or to knit uh, to Word. You have Knit to APA6 PDF. So that's the goal of Papaya. Remember, Papaya stands for um, Preparing APA Journal Articles. The whole goal is to make an APA PDF. So here we go. Cool. And so it'll come with all of this front information. So we have title, short title, authors, author affiliations, author notes. Uh, here is where you'll put your paper abstract. So, you know, the 150 words that are the abstract of the paper, you'll put in right there. There are keywords, the word count, and then a few other options. So, the uh, APA Papaya template comes filled in with some stuff the same way uh, the regular R Markdown file comes. It comes kind of preloaded. So if we knit this, let's look at what this looks like. So knit to PDF is going to ask us for a name, so we'll just call this first uh, papaya output, and we're going to save it into our working directory, which is reproducible papers. So see it popped up here, we've now made a new R markdown file, we're going to make a new PDF output, so it's going to do its thing, it runs here, you see it's going to 100%, and we will see our output pop up in just a second. Here it is. So you'll see it looks very different than what we just had with our normal R Markdown PDF output. So here we have the title, we have a running head. So if you're familiar with APA formatting, uh, you need to have a running head on the first page and then just the, the short title on every other page. So we have the title, um, we have the authors, the author note, the abstract will be here on this page, and then the paper starts. So remember there's, there's the title and then following an, an un- uh, headed uh, introduction, and then there's headers following. So we have methods, participants, material, procedures, data analysis, results, discussion, and then the references. 
So it already gives you the skeleton for an APA formatted paper. So if we just kind of look at this more in detail, we can put in our title. Uh, the first APA formatted paper ever, because we're going bold here. And the short title will be first APA paper. And now we can put in author details. So like this is Nick Fox, blah, blah, blah. Um, in a subsequent episode, I'll talk about using your references straight in R. So if you use EndNote or Mendeley, I use Mendeley or Zotero, you can import that bib file that's made by those programs so you can reference your articles in line in this document, but we'll get there. Uh, class is something pretty important, so you can uh, make your output manuscript format, which is what we saw. It looks like a normal manuscript where all the figures are at the end, or you can make it a journal class where then it prints like an APA formatted journal article. Uh, which I like to use. It makes me feel like my project is more finished. Um, and then here's the output type, APA6 PDF. Perfect. Uh, and so here, um, just pointing out important things, um, using LaTeX, uh, you can format your paper uh, with different types of headers. So as we saw, uh, a one hashtag is kind of a first level header. Uh, two hashtags is a second level header. Three hashtags is a third level header. Um, all in accordance to APA 6 style. So here we can even go in and make a three level header. And beneath that we can just put some example text. Um, and now if we knit this, we'll see that we add a third level header and we've added some text. Um, we can go ahead and add uh, a chunk of code underneath that if we'd like and just import some of that uh, stuff that we did last time. So here we can see methods. So bold and center is a first level header, which is one hashtag. Participant, material, procedure, these are all second level headers. So they're bold uh, and they have capitalization on the first word, but they're left aligned. And then the third level header with the three hashtags is um, bold, First capital, well, capital letter on the first word, ending with a period, and text starting on the same line. So um, if you're familiar with your APA style guide, this will all conform to the APA style guide. So very easy to conform your work into APA style. Um, let's see. So let's pull some code from our work so we can actually see with a graph. Um, let's copy it all the way. So if we copy this, we can say results, and we can uh, get rid of this because that's not going to show anything. Here we can put echo equals false because we don't want to show the code necessarily. We just want to show uh, the graph, right? So here, let's just make sure that this works. Let's run all these things. Cool, and now if we knit this, let's change it to journal. So you can see how it turns into a journal article. So now we should be adding a graph. Oh, there's an error. Uh, no pipe, because I didn't load the library. Uh, tidyverse. So that's important. So it doesn't recognize the pipe. And see, a lot of what you do is going to be uh, figuring out what the errors mean and solving for the errors. Um, I saw on Twitter the other day, someone had said, my goal for the end of 2018 is to write an R document without any errors. So that's very noble. So here, so now we have uh, an APA formatted journal article in the journal format. Um, so we have title, our abstract would go here, and we have two columns and figures in the column. So if you're reading uh, an APA journal article, you would see the figures that are in the paper looking just like this. So cool. So that is Papaya. Now for all subsequent videos, instead of working in just the basic R Markdown file type, we'll work in the APA file type using Papaya. So here you can see the references are all formatted how you would expect. There on the first page is the author note and correspondence. Um, everything is figured, uh, is 
made nice and neatly. So here, you're going to do all your work, and at the end you're going to knit it, and it's going to be a finished document. So that's the cool part about papaya, and uh, the reason why you want to learn early on using papaya, um, instead of having to go back and kind of figure it all out. So we're starting here in papaya, uh, and now everything else we do with our chunks and our writing and our inline code and our references, we're going to be doing natively using papaya, so that way our finished document is beautiful. So uh, that will be it for papaya. Next week we'll talk about uh, kind of getting into the nitty gritty of doing our statistical analyses. Um, if you are liking this video, make sure to like, favorite, and subscribe. Make sure to tell all your friends on Twitter or other people who might find uh, this useful. And uh, I will see you next time. So thanks so much.